Yeah, I'm in this scraper with this fat man and this old ass Lincoln. He look like the dash on baby kids. I had that for me. I got a little dusty here. I don't even know how to do it. Hey y'all, so I'm about to open up the perfume my friend got me. It's Jimmy Choo Urban Hero. I've never smelled it, so we're gonna smell it today. Let's see. Hello, my friends. The ones that love me. Ooh. Mmm. It's the gold edition. I open this shit. Uh. Is this for me? <laughs> it's like a real masculine smell. This is a men's cologne. It smells really good though. This smells good, but it's for men. Mmm, this smells really good though. Mmm. Mmm. That should smell really good, but. It's a men's clown. Hey y'all, it's your girl Pound Cake. And right now I'm getting started on my hair for Belize. Um, so I'm on the closure right now so that I can part it and add uh, these locks. I'm doing some locks. I'm going to attempt to do some locks. Um, on this wig, I'm gonna add some hair on here as well, so that it can kind of give like that boohoo, like goddess gypsy look. And yeah, I'm a little nervous. I did order some hair from Amazon. Well, this came from Amazon into the closure, but I ordered some sprinkles hair and some bundle hair to cut to put on here. And it was supposed to arrive yesterday, and then it was supposed to arrive today. And I got an email today saying that it's not coming till Friday and that's a no-go. Because I know I leave Saturday morning at the crack of dawn. So I had to go to the beauty supply and overpay for some spring twist hair. Um, I didn't get any human hair because I remember I did have some extra hair left over from my mom's hair. So I'm just going to use that. <laughs> we like to improvise around this piece. So, you know, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So I'm about to get started on that. I'm just going to set down the closure first before... I start doing the parts and getting busy. This is my first time and I'll cut my nails down so I can try to do a little shunt shunt. In. <laughs> but um, I'm nervous at the same time, but I'm a little excited at the same time as well because this is not a look that I've done before. Yeah, I know I'm just straight regular hair. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how this looks turns out. I mean, I have high hopes for it, um, of course, but at the same time, I'm nervous as well. So... Um, I want to go ahead and just say hello, y'all. Try to know what's popping. Just got off of work. And yeah, I'm about to get busy, so I'll see y'all later. I'll check in with y'all a little bit. I'm not going to finish this in one day. It's going to take me probably all of the week to do it. It might not, to be honest. It might take me just a day or two. But again, I want to give myself enough time to go ahead and do what I got to do. Now, I did bleach the knots. However, they didn't come out. <laughs> they did not do what they needed to do. So that's very ghetto. But again... We're gonna improvise, so yeah, yeah, it's a little harder than I thought. Like, this is where I'm at right now, as far as the braids, y'all. This shit is tough. Like, I got, I got better on this side, so this side is like better on this side. Oh, excuse me, and I'm using a like twist hair to kind of braid it because as you can see this hair is like hella silky and fine just to kind of give it a little bit of like grip nothing but man outside at 8 30 whoa um 
so yeah, I'm trying to like, but I'm probably going to redo this side over again, just off the strength that it didn't come out as good as this side. So once I'm done with this side, I'm going to bed for real because I'm tired, but tomorrow I will redo this side and it's only like 12 braids on this side, but yeah, the right side killing. And again, this is going to be a wig, so I want to make sure that it's as secure and done properly, uh, you know, as I can. So, yeah. The right side giving me hope. Meanwhile, the left side is stressing me out. I ain't going to hold you. But being that once this part is done, once this side is done, then I'm just going to redo this side. But this side looking real good. I ain't going to hold you. So we'll probably start crocheting tomorrow. Tonight was just like day one or what has. So very minimal hairs that I'm gonna be leaving out. Very minimal. Cause I'm not doing all that. Yeah, no, we, we're not doing all that, sweetheart. And I have to put a lot of makeup underneath here because of course when I bleached it, I told you guys that it didn't even really take for real. So it's a lot of black dots. And we don't do no black dots, baby. We don't do that. All right, y'all. So I finished my braids. I just put them into little buns. And now I'm about to start trying to... Um, trying to put the, the locks on. Now, I will say this. Um, because the hair is so fine. I did use the spring twist hair to braid it in. But I would definitely try to get a coarser texture or maybe a curly texture. And just kind of press the roots as you can see what i did here that way it's a lot easier for you to do but yeah so i'm i'm gonna start trying to crochet and see where we go from here so all right y'all this is what i got so far um they turned out pretty well honestly adding the hair is a little bit of a challenge to be honest um but aside from that uh it's going pretty well so like, here's one with the hair on there yeah, I'm making some progress. I'm literally almost done with this side. I have actually four more left here on this side before I am done. And then I want to move on to the other side. Once I'm done with that, I can start putting in the back, which should be a lot easier. But I'm excited now. I told you I had a little faith, but I'm still kind of nervous. Y'all. <laughs> Like, why is it so freaking heavy? And it's like top heavy too. Yeah, I look stupid. I'm not wearing this wig. I hate it. It's giving too much hair at the top. Like, I mean, it's giving Scapiana, but honestly y'all, it's so heavy and so long and so busy in the front. I'm about to take this bitch down. And, cause I think I have, I think it's like 12 on this part of the closure and then 12 on this, or maybe like 14 on this part of the closure. So what's that like 27 at the top? Nigga, no. So I'm gonna take this down and repart it and put like six on each side for real. Maybe six, maybe eight if I'm pushing it. Cause I might do, yeah, like six on each side. So this is gonna all just be one part. This is gonna be one part. Cause I'm not gonna play. Cause why is it so top heavy? And why is my back ball? Cause I didn't have enough hair. And mind you, I have 60 of these twists. And why are like half of them are in the front? Like to the front, look at my back. <laughs> Where is the back? Like, why is it all in the front? Yeah, this too much. Ugh. I hate it. It's not coming out how I envisioned it. So I'm really about to take this front down. No bullshit. And like I said, it's about to be uh, a lot less in the front. Because there's 27 locks just here at the top in the closure. Way too many. So I'm about to deconstruct the top. Start all over from scratch. And then we'll work from there. Because baby... No, we're not doing that. And I'm nervous because I cut the braids. So they're like that long. So hopefully I can grip it enough to um, 
redo this. So, y'all. <laughs> Nigga. I'm dead. I mean, it's getting cute, but no. It's no way. Because I didn't want to do more than 40. And I feel like 60 is really heavy. But it's 60 and they're all at the top. So, I feel like once this gets wet... Oh, that hairspray is not going to stand a chance. Because y'all know I only use that EVA hairspray. Not going to stand a chance. So, yeah. I'm about to go ahead and take this down. And we're going to try again. Because never should I have 40 braids at the top. Never. But anyway. I feel like I'm a Rastaman. I feel like Mark for that. Like, screw this. For real. I'm not even going to hold you. And like I said, once this gets wet... For real. So anyway, this to be continued. And I finished it last night, but I was so upset that I just threw it on my bed and went to sleep. But it's Wednesday. I have two more days to get this how I wanted to get it. And a lot of it I snatched up on accident when I was twisting from like the baby hairs to kind of to mimic it. So I'll be able to kind of revisit that as well. So y'all wish me luck. And if I fuck this up again, then oh well, because at least I tried. But anyway. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Um, I've been back from Chicago um, since Monday. And today is Saturday. It is the 10th of February. And I'm heading to the airport. Right now, it is 524. And I'm headed to Belize today, you guys. So, I'm um, driving myself today. I'm parking at a parking lot. It's not the Hilton this time, it's a different parking lot because it was such a last minute that the Hilton, they want like $160 for the time I'm gonna be gone. Again, because it's last minute and I'm leaving on a Saturday. So I went with this other place. Um, now my tire is running low, you know what? Mm -mm. We're not putting up with that today. Not the tire is low. Uh uh. Anyway, we'll do it with that when we get back. Um, I'm headed to the airport, like I said. And yeah, I'm parking out a new lot. And for the time I'm going to be gone, I'm going to be gone for like seven days. So, because I'm leaving, I'm leaving today. So I'm doing Saturday to Saturday. And the, um, that was charging like $45. You feel me? And it's cheaper than me trying to get an Uber, getting dropped off. Like, it's just. It'd be a little hectic because like when I got back from Chicago, it was raining really, really bad. And I had to call my friend Robert to come pick me up. And it was just a lot going on. I'm just like, uh, -uh I'm not doing it anymore. So I'm gonna drive myself like I've been doing. And just found a cheaper parking lot. So we're heading there now. And yeah. And I'm a tire flat. But y'all, why I hung out with this guy last night that I met online on Instagram? It was very interesting. Like, he was trying to do too much. Like, bro, you just met me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and mind you, we hung out before. Before I went to Bali, we had hung out. And I don't know if I told y'all about him, but he's like a little, he's like mixed. He's like black and Hispanic. And he got like curly hair. I mean, he's not bad looking, but I think I told you guys about, like, I don't know. Like, he had a real hard life. For real, for real. Life looked like it was a little hard, you know what I'm saying? But he's super, like, transparent. And, like, last night he just told me some more stuff. And I'm just like, you, I guess you don't ever want to talk to me again. Because, bruh, who the fuck? And I'm not going to divulge none of his business or what happens, but it was very interesting. I ain't even going to hold you. And I'm like, all right, sir. Have a good night. <laughs> but I didn't get dressed or nothing. They have no wig on. I had on, like, a sleep dress. And me a little cord again so I could stay warm. And that was that. Like, I wasn't going to be doing all that because why? You know what I mean? And he was still on it. Niggas. <laughs> 
But anyway, let me stop chatting and rambling and um, get to this parking structure. And I'll see y'all when we get there. Uh, hopefully it's not too ghetto or like in no city ass neighborhood because I'm not in the mood for that. Because I'm not even gonna hold you. But anyway, hey, <laughs> I miss y'all. And I didn't even straighten my hair. I literally washed it and blow dried it and that's that because I'm not sure if it's gonna be humid where I'm going. So I want to make sure I wanted to make sure that um, I won't put no, no put the work in, flat iron in this bitch, and you know what I'm saying. Like when I get to where I'm going, it's gonna get buff. So, and y'all know I told you about my dreadlock wig. I hate it, cause that's what I was supposed to be wearing here is my lock wig, and <laughs> let the girlies know what's up. We're real versatile, but unfortunately. That bitch is heavy and full at the top. And I ain't like all that. So, anyway, let me start rambling and I will see y'all in a bit. Okay, bye. All right, so I'm on a plane. I'm on a window seat. You know, I'm in the Rosa Park section. I'm in like row 33 and there's 34 rows. So, that's the end of it. So we hit that game. All I wish to believe. Yeah. I met this girl today, y'all, at the parking lot. She's so sweet. Real nice, real cute girl. Um, yeah, just pretty fun. We buy, we exchange information. So yeah. That's my homie, bro. And yeah, so. Hopefully the world behind me is empty because I might migrate over there. It's not really now. We gonna see. I'm next to this really cute little Felipe with her new braids. She, she popping. And she is kinda. It's her right here. Okay, bye. From all devices in airplane mode, if you're seated in the exit row, please ensure that your window shades are open and devices aren't blocked from seat power. I'm letting God handle all things above. Things I can't change are the reason you love me. Yeah, I'm in this scraper with this fat man and this old ass Lincoln. He looks like the dash from Baby Kids. I had that for me. You look a little dusty here. I don't even got all of you. Sorry, this is the last one from, from San Pedro. Thank you. Let me show you how. Yeah, here we go. Oh, man. There's no taxis out here, y'all. It's like a new thing. It's so raggedy. I hate this for me. I'm in the middle of nowhere. This is the hotel I booked, and I got misled by Sea View because there is a sea right there, but it's not the beach. Hi. All right, guys, so I'm here in Belize, and I'm a little perturbed. I'm not even gonna hold you. Um. I'm in Belize City. I'm in Belize City. And where I want to be is in San Pedro. So I'm literally in like the local community and there's really nothing where I am. So 
I have a sea view room, right? And I was under the impression I was by the beach because my room is sea view, but it actually is really a sea. There's no beach. There's no way for you to go frolic. None of that. So I'll have to take a water taxi to go to San Pedro. And that's like an hour and 40 minutes. Or I could take a plane. Now, as I mentioned, I'm a little perturbed. I ain't gonna hold you. I want to be on the beach but naked. I didn't want to be hanging in nobody's community. And being that I pay for the room ahead of time, it's already paid for. So I'm gonna make the most of it. But yeah, this is kind of ghetto. Like that's what I get for booking shit at night. Like oh, like while I'm up at night and I can't get no rest because I'm in like this Airbnb place and the lady's super nice. Her name is Yvette. She's a cutie pie. And I want to be disrespectful, but I don't want to stay here. Like the room is kind of ghetto too. Let me show you the room. My bad, y'all. Let me show you the room. So the bathroom is there. That's like a little desk. That's a baby TV, but the cord's hanging up. That's my curtain that was supposed to be on the door, but she said the person before me broke it. Yeah. See you. Little microwave refrigerator situation. I hate this tapestry. But this is really kind of ghetto. Like, I'm not even going to hold y'all. And y'all know. Look, this is really kind of ghetto. And I'm not even going to hold y'all. Y'all know. I don't care for ghetto things, but. We here. So. I'm about to order some food because I'm hungry. I brought me some gummy bears. <laughs> And you know I'm about to smash those, but not tonight because tonight I'm really about to go to bed for real. I'm tired. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Borderline kind of stressed. And yeah. And what's so funny is that fat man took me to the ATM because I was like, I didn't have a chance to get any cash or whatever. And so he was like, All right, um, what do you say? He was like, That's cool. I'll take it to the ATM. So I go to the ATM, but I lied to him. I told him that I couldn't get anything out the ATM because I have to call my bank. But I got money out. And his whole tune changed. First of all, I'm already kind of perturbed because you charge me $30 and bring me over here. $30? That's crazy. That's the devil's work. So they were trying to get over on you. But again, this is the second time that I've come to a country where I did not... Um, book my travel like I did not book you know my transportation and I hate that for me but not again I'm not we're not doing that again so just go it's cool all right y'all so it's a little after nine o'clock actually it is 9 27 and I wouldn't order some pizza it had cost me 50 Belizean dollars and it's two dollars to every one dollar. So one US dollar is two Belizean dollars. So it's twenty-five dollars for this pizza. You know what? <laughs> it's fine. Um yeah, I think I'm gonna switch hotels. I'm not even gonna hold y'all like this is in the middle of nowhere. And I wanna be by the beach. It tastes like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. It's definitely even Chuck E. Cheese. Sorry, I look washed. I'm so tired. Alright. So I'm tired. I'm a little upset because I don't like this area. It's giving very much Egypt. Just off it being dusty. The only thing is, like, I'm not near anything. So... At least in Egypt, I can go get something to eat. So, the pizza was actually like 20 bucks. But then I got like a $5 delivery fee. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see what's up. But, 
Mm-mm. But we're gonna have a good time. Make the most of it. Because we're here for seven days. From Saturday to Saturday, so. I'm gonna determine if I'm leaving this place or I'm more happy I can do what I do. Because I paid for the room already. It's being paid up. So, I'm going to explore my options. But, all this teaches me is that be careful when you're reading, like, see, view, and all those things. Because if you, there's a C, but you can't get in it. So, anyway, I'll chit chat with y'all later. Hey y'all, it's your girl Pound Cake, and today is Super Bowl Sunday. It is February the 11th, and I'm still here in Belize. I didn't do anything at all today because I'm like, it's Super Bowl Sunday, I wanna watch the game. And I'm still trying to process this ghetto ass establishment that I'm currently at. So, yeah. So I'm sitting here. I, I said I've done absolutely nothing, and I haven't even eaten all day. I just ordered some food from this place called Friendship Chinese Food. Um, I ordered some chicken and some chow mein. Because they have like the worst combinations of food here. I'm not even going to hold you. Um, but it cost me $38 in Belizean money. I don't know what their currency is called. And they got them cheap forks. I hate these kind of forks. Y'all know that. Oh, I cannot stand these. Ugh. But here's the chicken. Let's see what it's hidden for. It's supposed to come with fries. Oh, it don't look too bad. But they put the ketchup on the side for you already. But I am starving. I'm not even going to hold you. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. This looks like salt and pepper for real. They got that fake ketchup I hit. But yeah, I'm here kicking it. I was looking up stuff to do. So, I mean, it's not really much. I definitely, I definitely want to go to the beach still. But that's in San Pedro, so... I have to go ahead and... get up early tomorrow. Get dressed and just kind of see where... The day is going to take me. So, yeah. Right now, I'm watching the game. I can't watch it on my laptop because I know whenever I put the Wi Fi on, it doesn't allow me to access Hulu from the Wi Fi. I just believe, believe but methods. when I turn it off and put my phone on, I can watch it from there. So, that's what I'm doing. Watching the game, eat my food. Thought so I'd check in with you guys because I haven't talked to y'all all day. But again, I haven't been doing anything but any hours sleep. So, tomorrow we're going to train up the Annie and figure some shit out. Club. Hmm, get him. Because, yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's me. <laughs> it's your girl, Pound Cake. And it's actually now, it's Monday, the 12th of February. Oh, and I'm still here in this room. I do plan on, of course, leaving today. Right now, it's 1.42 in the morning. Hold on, let me show y'all. Yeah, it's 1.42 in the morning. And I'm just sitting here. I'm a little, like, so... I told y'all about this room, right? And just me not liking it. It's not really up to my standards. And like, this is not really what I be doing, but I'm trying to thug it out, right? So I didn't plan on doing anything today because I wanted to watch the Super Bowl. And so I did that. So tomorrow, or today actually, because um, it's Monday, right? After midnight, I plan on trying to do something, but the location is just off. Um, and there's just a like, 
this is probably the most ghetto place I've ever stayed um, on a trip. I mean, even worse than Egypt. At least Egypt, I can lock my door. You're probably wondering why I say that, right? So, where I am, I'm on the third floor, and there's no one here but me. Allegedly, I don't know, apparently. That's what the lady told me. But this room is so fucking nigger rigged. Like, if I wasn't like a tough ass bitch, like, somebody would not feel safe here. And why you ask, let me just show y'all. So, I talked about this ghetto, this ghetto ass tapestry, right? And mind you, this is the refrigerator in the in the, in the uh, microwave right here, very ghetto. These curtains are hideous, disgusting, right? As you see them, it stops right there. There's a window. The window is open. I'm not touching anything. Here are the curtains. So, here are the curtains. As you can see, this rod. Sorry, this rod here is hanging. Hanging, right? And there's the other piece of the rod up here on the ceiling because I had to put this up here because the bitch fell last night. So here's my door, right? I was trying to close the curtains because this is a, even though it's a door, it's a clear window. The curtains are right there hanging up on the closet door. Here's my door, right? So I can have a little bit of privacy. The lady said that no one's here, aside from me, on this floor. And there's three floors. I'm on the third floor. I think she lives on the second. And then there's someone on the first, which is fine. Look at my door. It does not close. So my door doesn't close. And not only does my door not close, I don't have any privacy. Like, if I'm walking around this bitch naked... Hold on, let me just come outside and show y'all. You can see everything going on in here. Every goddamn thing. Every goddamn thing. That's where I'm sleeping. And you can see everything. So good. So, so I'm gonna show y'all. So I was trying to close the door, right? I'm trying to close the door so I can lock it. This is where I would normally close the door. It does not close. <laughs> I mean, I'm pulling all my weight. I know I ain't little. I'm pulling all my weight to fall back. And the hinge is here. I cannot close or lock this door. So, not only is this not safe, <laughs> this is very, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is ghetto. Like, please. Is someone knock on the door? Then I wrote on the door. Push this door to open. <laughs> Why gotta push it? It doesn't close. What is there to push? It does not close. You want me to push this to open, but it doesn't even close. I'm gonna try again. This is as far as it goes. So I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> I was just, you know trust the security that you told me that you have like that this is cool so they can just see me in here I'm a target I'm a target <laughs> like I keep my purse under the pillow and I mean do I really sleep no <laughs> like no because everybody can see me in here no privacy whatsoever and yeah they're definitely getting a review because what if it was somebody who's not me, right? Who's not a thug ass gangster bitch like myself. And then I can get caught off guard. Like if I'm getting good Z's in here and someone come here and sneak me, walk right in here and sneak me. I mean, <laughs> listen, but we here. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, we here. And yeah, but the shit is ghetto. Like. I'm going to be sure to take photos because I'm leaving a review. And lady is so nice. Very nice. And I really feel bad for her. But this is not okay. Like, this is not okay. Because when I leave, how am I supposed to lock my things up in here? I can't lock the door. So people are going to be walking in and out of my space while I'm not here. I'm supposed to take your word for it. Things being like, girl. 
<laughs> Why even give me a key? What is the key for? I'm just saying. So I'm done with like, cause I try to stick to the rivers and lakes that I'm used to and I've never like, I use booking.com all the time, but what got me is it said this was a sea view room. And again, it is a sea view, but there's no beach. It's a sea, literally. It's a sea. Like you don't get in the water there, like you don't do any of that. So I put that on me. <laughs> That's my fault. But at the same time, this is not safe, girl. I'm in a foreign country. I don't know you niggas. And I can't even lock my door or even keep myself. Like, what if I'm, I can't even, like, where am I going to get dressed? In the bathroom? I like to be naked while I'm doing my makeup. You feel me? And I can't even do that because who's going to be looking at me? Everybody. It's very ghetto, y'all. Very, very ghetto. But aside from that, I'm chilling. I was in and out of sleep. I edited like three videos. So I finally did my uh, my last my last Bali installment because I was y'all was tired. Honestly, I ain't even gonna hold you. And I was getting like edit fatigue. So I was just like, I'll get back to it. I'll get back to it. I'll get back to it. That's why I didn't drop last Thursday like it was supposed to. So it's gonna drop this Tuesday because I finally finished it and then I had recorded my um, Bali wrap up video back in Chicago so that was done already so I just went ahead and edited that today as well and then I edited my Chicago the first day or not my first but my first half because I just broke it up in two so my first half of Chicago has been um, done and uploaded as well so that's going to drop the following Tuesday and then the second part will probably be that Thursday depending on when I get it done if I have the time but I should I should have it done as well but right now bali is not i uh, bali right now belize is not <laughs> it's not doing what it's supposed to do nor is it giving what it's supposed to give but on tuesday i'm going to secret beach i'm just going to pay for the taxi go to the ferry rent a go-kart or golf cart go to secret beach get drunk as fuck and go about my day tomorrow i plan on going to this hookah lounge that's not too far from here and yeah, just having some hookah, hanging out, thugging, not doing too much. So that's really on the agenda. So yeah. But anyway, I'll talk to you niggas later. Bye. <laughs>